Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4! Yeah, what he said. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. <laughs> Maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. This game has the best dialogue of any game ever. Just so you know. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Ah, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. 
Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. <laughs> okay, so full disclosure, I'm not a big Resident Evil fan. Uh, I played Resident Evil 4 a good bit in high school. But that's about the extent of it. I mean, I'm familiar enough with the series, but I don't delve too heavily into the lore anything like that. I just really liked Resident Evil 4. Always did. I never really ever played any of the other games, exactly. except for 5. Cowboy. Gotta get used to the controls again. It won't take long. It's knife. It's gun. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so... My knowledge of the story, uh, from what I can remember, I mean, obviously, they set it up with your looking for the president's daughter. Funnily enough, when this game first came out, I want to say uh, George W. Bush was the president of the United States. I just, I find that funny. It's a wooden box. Looks like it can be broken. Okay, there we go. It's L1. Nothing in it. Controls seem a little funny. Okay, triangle. Brings up a map. Okay. Inventory. Alright, got it. Yeah, so the plot of this game, it's a little ridiculous, but it's, it's a good fun time. Oh, they got the Rona. Better have a mask on. Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> freeze. I said freeze. Get on the ground. Stop resisting. Wait. There we go. <laughs> I just spin kicked him up into the air. Kicks like freaking Chuck Norris. Shit. Yeah, sounds like it. Perfect time to take a phone call, though. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Yeah. Old GW's got enough going on right now. He's not a zombie. So to speak. There are some old books here, though none of them are written in English. Uh, let's see what's up here. Got some handgun ammo. How do you... Okay, it's X. Got it. Uh, let's jump out of the second story window for no reason. There we go. That was fun. Whoa! Oh, ow! Uh, hang on. What the... Ow! Don't do that. Oh, these controls. The controls are going to take some getting used to. 
if I can like change the uh, controller setup. There we go. Ooh. Okay. It's not going to let me. Oh wait. Okay. There's different types. Hmm. Okay, I don't know about all that. Yeah, whatever. I'll just play around with it until I get used to it. Okay, right stick. Aims. Ah! Ow. Trying to defy physics over there. <laughs> That's a really silly way to die. Uh, yeah, I probably better go ahead and use it. I want to say you can shoot the crows for like money or something. hear the dog whimper in the background. If I remember correctly, you can free him from the uh, bear trap or something. Just randomly jump over the logs if you feel like it. Hmm. Get some handgun ammo for save point. Yeah, I'll take the green herb. Love me some green herbs. Like parsley. Or cilantro. Oh, this music. That's a nostalgia bomb right there. Let's help him. He's got a wounded leg and he just jumps over that fence like it's nothing. <laughs> okay, we got some bombs in the way here. Go ahead and deal with that. Freaking uh, tripwire explosives. Okay. I am not. <laughs> Listen here, sir. I don't speak no languages. There, that'll teach you. Oh, you ain't dead? Dude. <laughs> I love how the music just abruptly stops once you kill the bad guy. Did you just call me an asshole? I said pilasos, but I don't know what that means. I keep wanting to push X for, uh, like the action button to make him kick. Yeah, it hurts getting shot in the face, doesn't it? He's carrying handgun ammo, but he didn't seem to have a handgun.
that a hand? Yeah, a bony hand. Oh yeah. This part with the the granny with a pitchfork through her face. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find her fast. <laughs> Oh, you think so? Yeah, you better run. I see you in there. <laughs> oh, I thought it might work. Ow! Oh yeah? Let's see how you like it. I just slashed him across the chest twice and he died. Let's see, I know some of these boxes can have snakes in them, but I cannot remember which ones at all. <clears throat> okay, so I load a new area. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Yeah, we don't need a manual. Okay, we've made it to the town square. Uh, they seem to be having a, a barbecue. Pretty sure that's uh, the cop that was with me. Getting ready to uh, pass out the tequila. And shoot off fireworks later. You know, like for every Groundhog's Day. Let's see, I want to say coming back here. You know, like sneak up on him or something. Oh, he just said mierda. I, I know what that means. <laughs> I, I know that word. <laughs> huh? Cigarillo? No. Man, didn't even shoot his hat off. Ah! Oh, nope. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm not I'm not used to this this complex combat anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's combine that with that, and then that with that, and then just smoke the whole thing. There we go. Well, a large chalupa to you, too. Is that a chainsaw? They must be getting ready to do yard work. Ah! Yes, I will take the brown chicken egg. Brown eggs are the best. Uh, I want to hurry up and get to the shotgun. Why these people? I can remember the big thing when this game came out was all like, "Oh, they're not zombies because they're smarter than zombies." A zombie can't—they can't talk to each other and make plans or use ladders. And it's like, you get to move furniture in front of windows now. Oop. Uh, that was blocked. They can eventually break through all of that, so... I need to hurry up. Uh, let's see. Oop. I really wish the game would just let you customize controls, like, really bad. Oh, it's got the... The, whatchamacallit? Chainsaw. No thanks. Ow. Ah! No! He's gonna chop my head off. 
Uh, how did I used to do this part? There's a certain building I would run into, and I would bottleneck everybody. Eh. Use the. Dang it. Okay, yellow herb. Those are good. Oh, oh no, no, no. Ah, what house was it that I would go to? Not there. <laughs> There's Bessie just hanging out like, eh, it's an average Tuesday. Uh, well, there's a big cluster of them there, so... That would be a good time to use the grenade. Nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> they, they got reinforcements. And I have all of... Six shotgun shells. That's, that's nice. Okay, real quick before I forget, let's combine... These two. All right. Uh, let me come back up here and back up here. Oh, holy moly! Ah. Now would probably be a good time to use that herb. There we go. That increased my maximum health by just a little bit. Ah! Dang it, Bobby, put that down! That is not what that tool is for! Nuts, man! Pretty sure there's a time limit on these guys. You don't have to kill them all, I don't think. I hope not. Ow. <clears throat> There's got to be some shotgun shells somewhere. Bessie? Are you hiding shotgun shells? No? Oh, okay, I reached the time limit. everyone going bingo <laughs> no Leon obviously they were going to Sunday school <laughs> heathen <laughs> Onigan, I have some bad news I've confirmed the body of an officer something's happened to the people here Leon you need to get out of there look for a tower and follow the trail near it got it yeah, like, don't go back the way you came or anything. Which, honestly, I think if you go back after the first cutscene, they, like, uh... I want to say that the bridge is out or something. Let me see. Yeah, good old-fashioned mid-2000s gameplay. You gotta go into the menu every time you switch weapons. None of that newfangled switching, switching weapons on the fly, I miss. <clears throat> oh, I wanna... There we go. Oh. That would've been nice to have. Let's see. Okay. I knew I'd find some somewhere.
Hmm. Ow. That hurts my knees just looking at it. Sheesh. Ah, this is this is uh where I would normally hold myself up at. Yeah, this building right here. <laughs> Some kind of liquid is dripping off of the table. An unpleasant smell is emanating from it. Well, I probably shouldn't taste it then. Man. Leon kicks like Duke Nukem. Nothing can stop his mighty foot. Yep. Oh, there we go. Nice. There's a dirty bed here. It appears that the stains are a person's blood. Well, they should probably wash the mattress then. Hmm. And I know I can't go through that door yet. That's locked. Is there anything back here? Doesn't seem to be. Alrighty. Let's see. Okay. Just came from in there. Hmm. Nothing in here. Handgun ammo. What do we got here? Alert order. Recently there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief Vitores Mendez. Yeah, because, you know, in a what seems to be a strictly Spanish-speaking community. Of course, you would write the messages in English. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. <clears throat> so that the dirty American agent could, uh, would be able to read it and, you know, use it as a clue. That's video game logic, I guess. So, made it to this dainty little farm. That's going to do it for now. I'll see you guys next time with more Resident Evil 4. Until then, y'all take care.